Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am going to make a easy beginner's art journal. I, I surprisingly get a lot of requests for this. I have quite a few videos online, um, but a lot of you guys are new to art journaling and mixed media. So you guys ask me to do and explain how to make a very easy journal. Now, a lot of you uh, want the easy, uh, you know, like the beginner's journal and then to move on to the, you know, the stitched and to make it more uh, put together like a book and I'll get there uh, in videos. But now I'm just gonna do this. Very simple, very easy. I have yarn. Do you have to use yarn? No, you can use string, you can use uh, hemp string. You can use whatever you have. This is just very easy. Now, I did this paper yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm just going to show you how to connect it. Now, this is how I do it. You can do it whatever way you want. If you want to add uh, more pages, you know, big pages, small pages, whatever you want. So that's an elephant I drew. But um, okay, so you see we have this. Now, this, when you look at it, isn't going to be... Uh, once we keep layering pages on it, it won't be uh, an equal page. And I'll show you what that means in a moment. So, okay, so you can see this page underneath is uh, much bigger. Now, does it matter? It doesn't really matter if you don't wanna cut it. However, I'm gonna cut it a little bit just to make it easier for you guys to see exactly what I mean. And I'm not worrying, is it even, is it not? I'm not. That's stuff that you can do when you're making it for me I use mail and everything to make journals so it doesn't matter so you can see we have that now if you want to add smaller pages this is just some pages and what I'm going to do is lay it there and then I'm going to fold I also have that piece under there I'm going to fold it Now, I know a lot of you are doing mixed media morsels and art journaling prompts and all that kind of thing. So if you're just finding it or starting out and um, who was it? It was Kat, I believe, who showed the way she was putting her uh, journal together. This is just a quick, easy way for y'all starting out or people like me who've been doing this for years and years and years. But, you know, I, uh, I like it quick and easy. Okay, so you see, I have these, and what I did was I folded them into half, into half. So now I'm gonna take my yarn, and I'm gonna cut fairly big pieces. Um, you know, buy your yarn on clearance, buy it from the dollar store, buy your papers at the art craft store, or the dollar store, or at your thrift store, or online if you find good deals, whatever. It doesn't matter what the backgrounds are. I go crazy at Christmas time at holiday themes because I'll buy it when the stores put it on for clearance for 10 cents. So remember, these are our art journal pages, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna cut a few more and then I'll show you how I put it together, give you some suggestions and we're on our way. Okay, so first, I want to uh, connect all these. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take up and leave the last two on there. And this is my way. I find this works best for me uh, due to the sturdiness and my hands and everything like that. If you find a better way, please, by all means, rock it out. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I have my two pages here and I'm going to. Now, some people get annoyed. They don't like the string on the inside. Um, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I just add it in as texture. But if you're anal about that, then, uh, you know, you don't have to do it like that. So I'm going to lay that like that and then pull this up here. And you can, you know, make sure it's even or whatever you want. I don't, you know, you can always cut it even. I'm like, you know, get me to do an art. So I'm just going to do like that. And then do another knot. And you can see I connected both pieces and I'm gonna put those up there. And I think I've shown my journals that I've done this and worked in. Now you wanna add a little bit of something, something a little different. You can use one of these smaller pieces and you just line it if you want it to start down here, if you want it in the middle, it doesn't matter. 
And I've showed how to use cereal boxes to do these. I have, I mean, I have about a million ways to do these. So, you know, it depends on what you're feeling and, and what you want to do, really. I've used books. I used it all. All right. So you can see I'm just pulling that yarn up. You're going to hear my cat fuss in a minute. Um, up here. Uh -huh. And we're going to tie it again and just, you know, move your hands to the top. So the knots up there and I'm going to go let my cat out of my room real quick, but you see, and then I just push all those up and give me a second. Come on, buddy. I know. You don't like being here. Here. No. Okay. So you can see. Um, sometimes, you know, it'll move. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We're just holding it in. It's not a big deal. No, you can go crazy. You can put twenty sheets of paper on top. You. I'm just doing this very quick to show you. All right, and I have another string, and I you, I connect it from the bottom, so I'm connecting all of them as I put it on the next piece. All right, same gig. And I just do a knot. Of course, you could be fancy. You could do whatever you want. Now, to do it with holes and stitch it and all is fantastic if you want to do it that way as well you can this is just a really quick thing so now let's pretend we did a million pages right as many as you want now this becomes your front okay now sometimes what i like to do now you can see before i open it you can see all my tails here right this is all the tails now what I like to do um, now this is like a quick version not a big deal but what I like to do is take beads or make beads out of clay or whatever and you can make these hang down and make them very cute or fancy you can braid these you can cut them you can do whatever you want you can use it as a uh, you know you could braid these and use it as a uh, bookmark so you know what page you're on you know I mean really it's your imagination that'll stop you so this would be the front page and I can go on. I have another piece here I can hook in. You see what I'm saying? I can just go on and go on. And this is my first layout. So you see how it's not this full page. It's, I love this page, but it's your layout. Then you'll go to your next one. Let's do a second art journal page. And it'll be this one and this one. Now, again, you can move this up a little bit and, you know, whatever. It'll stay once, especially if you put more on top of it. Um, but you see what I'm saying? You, so you could do this page. You could do this. The journal. You can journal on it. You could do whatever you want. Then you turn it, and you have an elephant butt, and you have. Um, so you have this page, and then you have this page. And you turn it, and the more paint you put on here, because I like to put paint on these as well, it gets stuck more. You know what I mean? It makes it heavier. It sticks more. It's much more durable. Here is the inside layout, and then you'll just go that again, and that again. One more right here, and that again. And the more you put on, the more you get. Maybe you don't like the little pages and that kind of thing, and you don't want to use them. Maybe you do all this, and you're like, I don't dig this. So then you could go like this. All right, well, I'm not going to do that one. And then you can keep putting pages. I can keep putting them on right now and just keep tying them on. And like I said, you could do such fancy stuff um, and really make it pretty. So that is just the basic. Uh, a lot of fun to do, very simple. Um, now you can go and you can uh, decorate this if you want. If you're using, this is a flimsier uh, scrapbook paper, right? It's a little flimsy. Um, if it bothers you, you know, um, and you want to decorate your front or whatever, you can also take, like, you know, I did the uh, faux leather. So I can glue that on there, cut off the extra, and then I have this. So when I go to work on... This page, it will be thicker because I have this on the, the front. You know what I'm saying? So use cardboard. Use whatever you want. I love using um, brown paper bags. I rip them apart and we'll do it. So there's so much that you can do. It's so versatile. But this is a great way to start. And if you don't want to do a title 
you know, a cover, then you can use this as your first art journal page. It's whatever you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see anything, just let me know. And as always, please be kind to each other because you never know about us. Somebody else is fighting and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.